Hello guys, welcome to Cruise Control. Honda is having itself a busy year. Fresh off the launch of the new Civic sedan and hatchback, it is about to introduce a new HRV small SUV, a new CRV crossover, and this a new generation Accord midsize sedan. Just as the CRV is a juggernaut among compact SUVs, duking it out with the likes of Toyota's RAV4 for sales, the Honda Accord is a mainstay in the shrinking yet still popular midsize sedan space. Even the relatively old 2022 model, which was introduced back in 2017 and is about to be replaced by this new 2023 Honda Accord, remains at the top of its class in our ultimate car rankings. It is an achingly competent and satisfying car to own, delivering confident handling, a refined ride, punchy powertrains, and sleek looks inside and out. So, what does changes are in store for the 2023 Accord? If we use the smaller Civic as a template, we can expect Honda to subtly hone everything that's made the outgoing Accord so great. Literally, just as the newest Civic is based on the previous model, the new Accord will be spun off the current one. That doesn't preclude Honda from heavily restyling the Accord, however, again, look no further than the 2022 Civic, which looks nothing like its predecessor despite using the same platform. But we also think given that Honda refashioned the Civic in the Accord's image, that it likes that image and won't change it too much for 2023. To give you an idea of what the next Accord might look like, we provided the illustrations here. Unlike the Civic, which matured from a wild vented, slatted, and creased visage to a cleaner, simpler design that looks vastly more upscale, the Accord already wears a clean, simple design that looks subtly upscale. That means the new model will probably adopt a few details from the Civic, namely its more horizontal shoulder line, squared off front end, and thinner headlights. The outgoing Accord's various curves, arcs, and C-shaped tail lights, all holdovers from previous gen Honda design, will be straightened out, removed entirely, or, in the case of the tail lights, slimmed down and simplified. Though we haven't rendered the 2023 Accord's interior, again, look for more Civic inspiration to trickle up. The Civic's classy full-width dashboard air vent motif, with a mesh treatment blending the actual air vents into a glamorous strip stretching from door to door, is almost guaranteed. Ditto the Civic's more squared-off switchgear, door handles, steering wheel hub, and more. Again, where the old Accord's door panels and dashboard styling features arcs and swoops, the new one will be predominantly rectilinear. A touchscreen will again float above the dashboard, but look for the current Accord's standard split-gauge cluster, half-digital, half-analog to give way to a fully digital cluster across the lineup. The roominess of today's model will carry over to the new one, with perhaps a touch more trunk space carved out of the square tail. Today's Accord is relatively lightweight and has a well-sorted suspension that delivers sharp handling, satisfying control feel, and a good ride. Look for minor tweaks here, though the Accord's curb weight likely will increase slightly, as we anticipate Honda will add sound deadening and more features in a bid to quiet the sedan's wind and road noise while upping the lux factor. Look for the Accord's trio of powertrains to live on for 2023, albeit with small reworkings for improved fuel economy and power delivery. That means entry-level Accords will retain their turbocharged 1.5-liter i4 engines and continuously variable automatic transmissions CVTs, while up-level versions will offer a more powerful turbo 2-liter i4 and a 10-speed traditional automatic. Finally, the Accord Hybrid and its 2-liter i4 and electric motor combo will return, likely with changes geared toward improving its fuel economy further. Front-wheel drive probably will remain the Accord's lone option, many competitors, the Toyota Camry included, have begun offering optional all-wheel drive in recent years. The old Accord was just handsome enough, but Honda's penchant for restraint might miss the moment these relatively affordable, roomy four-doors are having. All we know is, if the Accord drives anything like the new Civic, while delivering the same if not better quality, it'll be tough to complain about attractively understated styling.